digital romance TV. Hi everybody, welcome to Digital Romance TV. It's Nancy the Dating Diva. And today I wanted to talk about finding love at an early age. So of course you can find love and get married at any age, whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, and above. There's no solid rule. Um, but what I do um, want to talk about today is that if your goal is to fall in love with Mr. Wright or Ms. Ms. Wright and get married, then you should start looking when you're younger. So you should start ideally in your 20s, okay? I know in your 20s, it's a time you're exploring your career. You know, you might be traveling, having fun. You're not ready to settle down but you should be dating. So you shouldn't place your career uh, as your top priority, you know, or, or other things, although they should be really important, you should be working towards them, okay? But finding someone to spend your life with should also be a top priority, if that's important for you. And the reason why it gets harder to, you know, get married or find someone as you age is because the dating pool gets smaller. It's not that anything is wrong with you personally, you could be perfect, you know, you could be great looking, have a great career, great personality, everything, but the dating pool gets smaller and smaller. So let's say you're in your mid thirties and that's when you start thinking, okay, you know, I want to settle down. I want to find someone. I want to have kids. As you start dating, you know, you find that maybe males or females in their mid to late thirties are already married. Okay. They're already in relationships. They've already had children. So that's the reason that you want to start younger. Um, I'm not saying that, you know, you should start super young and have that like as your main goal, like, oh, I just want to get married. I just want to get married. But it should be something on your mind. What I see happening, happening a lot is that people, you know, they spend time, A, on the wrong relationships with the wrong person for way too long. So they waste years and years. Okay, then they get out of that relationship. And of course, you know, they need time to recover. They need time for themselves. And by the time they're ready to start dating again, they've wasted like either months or years and years. That's the first case scenario where you're wasting a lot of time when you could be focused. The second case is that you're so focused on your career and advancing it that you say you don't have time for dating. You don't make time for dating and years kind of pass you by and you wake up one day and you realize while your career is great and thriving, there is something missing. And that something missing is that special someone. You know, you look around, you see all your friends are married, married with children, you know, and you feel alone. So while you should have been focusing on your career, it would have been good to also devote some time to dating. So you should really treat dating as anything else in your life. It shouldn't just be brushed to the side. It's amazing how many people I see um, who come to me and say, Nancy, I really want to find the right person, you know, and then you ask them what they're doing about it, and they devote no actions towards, you know, meeting Mr. and Ms. Wright. They put no, you know, effort, they don't have any goals, and getting married or finding that special someone is a goal. You know, we have this myth um, in our culture that, you know, it's it'll happen when you're least expecting it. Okay, fine, sometimes it does, or, you know, just let it happen let love happen and sometimes you know you do meet that person by chance and things start that does happen sometimes but more often than not you actually have to put in the effort and people don't like to think that because you know it's not romantic it's kind of like a oh, hard work you know but actually finding the right person is hard work and oftentimes it is strategic so what i mean by strategic is you need to know what you want that is the first and crucial, most important step. Otherwise, you're just going to be going through life, having everything, you know, slam into you like, oh, this happened, this happened, you know, without any clear direction, without any clear goal. Okay, you'll be attracting the wrong people, um, everything in your life. You should know what you want in every aspect of your life. And that's easier said than done. But it is helpful to start with your values, what you value, you know whether, you know, what do you value? Write that down. What are your values? And focus on that. Make sure that all your actions in life are aligned with those values. And that'll bring you closer to what you want. You'll be able to see clearly what you want. So when dating, okay, ask yourself, what do I want in a partner? Make a list, okay? 
have an idea in your mind what you want. Um, and that way you'll be strategically looking and when you're looking and you know what you want, you're much more likely to find it in a shorter amount of time. And that goes for anything in life. You know, when you're applying to jobs, obviously you know exactly what you want. You're not gonna just apply, if you're a finance major and you've worked in finance your whole career, you're not gonna start applying to, you know, journalism for instance or marketing or whatever you know you're gonna focus you're gonna have a target and the same goes for dating you should know what you want have an idea if you don't know what you want then date date widely you know as you get to see more people you know you learn about yourself you learn what you want in a partner and that doesn't mean spending unnecessary time on one person no, it just means getting to know several people seeing what is it that you like who who is it that you click with and then going from there so you can set your target so I encourage you all to start young um, if you're in your 40s or your 50s and you're looking for someone that is perfectly acceptable it is totally fine start where you are that's really my message start where you are start today stop putting it off you know treat it like any other goal in your life okay put in the same amount of energy and dedication and have fun with it and I wish you all the best visit me at nancythedatingdiva.com you can subscribe to my newsletter which I send out uh, weekly and you can submit your dating questions anonymously and I'll answer them in the newsletter all right guys thanks for tuning in take care did you know there's a three-step formula to make a guy fall desperately in love with you go to digitalromance.tv forward slash CHH to learn a simple method any woman can use to capture a man's heart and make him love you forever. Again, that link is digitalromance.tv forward slash CHH.